Effective administrators understand the two primary topics of this chapter, troubleshooting processes and troubleshooting tools. These two important topics are covered throughout the following sections. The troubleshooting processes on using disk defragmenter, performing a disk cleanup, scheduling task, and accessing additional troubleshooting tools. To help you fully understand troubleshooting methodologies, several are explained in this section. The React, OSI model, hardware software model, symptom, diagnosis, and solution, and systems thinking. It's important to understand that if you're going to troubleshoot on a problem effectively, you need to follow a systematic process in order to solve the problem. One of the methods described in this chapter is the REACT method for troubleshooting and the acronym stands for Research, Engage, Adjust, Configure, Take Note. The methodology is represented in this figure with a common task performed in each of the stages. Hard disks can become fragmented over time. This simply means that files are not stored in contiguous blocks of space. Instead, parts of them are stored all over the drive. When this happens, it takes much longer to access files because the hard drive has to move around to different places to pull data into memory. Windows 7 ships with a defragmentation utility you can work with via both GUI and Command Prompt. The GUI tool for defragmenting your hard drives is located in the System Tools group on the Start menu. The tool, shown in the figure, is simple to use. You can click the drive you want to defragment and then click the Defragment Disk button. Windows also provides a command prompt tool for defragmenting disk. It is aptly named defrag. The syntax for the defrag command is shown in this figure. If you type at the command prompt defrag space forward slash question mark, you will find the syntax. Sometimes the built-in utilities are sufficient, but other times you want a little more power. The free disk defragmenter called Defragler is an excellent alternative to the built-in tools. It provides the following features. Fast analysis of fragmentation on volumes, the ability to defragment selected files instead of an, only the entire volume, a free version for personal use, and command line version with more power, with more power than the defrag command. After a computer has been in use for a long period of time, files of many different types begin to accumulate. Some of these files contain important inf data. Others are temporary files that provide no lasting value. The disk cleanup tool is used to delete these useless files, as you will learn in this section. Another useful trick for freeing up drive space is to locate and remove very large files that may not be required. You can do this easily from the Explorer search field. Open Explorer and navigate to the root of the drive on which you wish to search for large files. Next in the search field, enter size, colon, and select from the drop pop up box the size you want to search for. This figure shows the optional search sizes available. One of the important administrative benefits of the Windows OS is the ability to schedule tasks. You can schedule tasks in Windows using the GUI task scheduler interface or with a command prompt using schtask.exe or the traditional AT command. The event viewer is used to inspect the event logs on a Windows computer. Windows Vista and Server 2008 added important features to the event viewer which allowed it to support central logging. You can access the event viewer in the administrative tools group of the start menu or you can click start search for event viewer and press enter. This figure shows the event viewer interface on Windows 7. The event viewer supports filtering logs so that you can see only the information you desire. For example, you may want to view only log entries with a level of critical warning or error. The vast majority of log entries are informational. By filtering to only the three levels mentioned, you enable a view with less information that is easier to browse through and locate potential problems. This figure shows the filter current log dialog with filtering configured. You can access this dialog by right clicking a log and selecting filter current log. When it comes to troubleshooting, the task manager is one of the most frequently used applications in Windows. It lists the running processes on your system and allows you 
to perform several actions against these processes including the following raising the priority, lowering the priority, killing the task, and viewing information about the processes. Troubleshooting requires technical skills and an understanding of processes and procedures. Processes and procedures are often documented as troubleshooting methodologies. You may develop your own methodology over time or use existing methodologies that have been proven and tested by other organizations. The ITIL provides documents that include troubleshooting best practices. Windows Server processes provide several tools that can be used for troubleshooting include the Task Manager, Performance Monitor, Resource Monitor, and Event Viewer.